In previous videos, we explained how nuclear power plants work to generate electricity. But have you wondered how they manage their nuclear waste? You see, like how campfires leave behind burnt pits, using nuclear power for energy will leave behind waste products. There are two categories, low-level waste and high-level waste, determined by their radioactivity and risks. After power generation, the newly produced waste is super hot and radioactive, so it's stored in special pools with deep water to cool off for around five to 10 years. Once it's cooled, it's moved into big steel and concrete containers called dry casks. These casks are like super tough safes that hold onto the waste for years, and the material prevents radiation from leaking out. And where do they go? Well, some countries may recycle parts of the waste, but that's expensive and can be problematic. Many countries are also working on developing deep underground repositories to store nuclear waste. Scientists and engineers are always working on new ways to improve the management of nuclear waste, including methods to improve nuclear power generation efficiency so that less waste is produced in the first place. We can expect that with further developments, nuclear fission will become safer and better as a way to produce clean and stable energy.